Call of Duty Zombies is a beautiful thing, a masterpiece crafted by the hands of the gods. It's built from atmosphere, story, emotions, all these great things. I love stories and games that can make you feel emotions. If I can't feel something when I watch a TV show or a movie or read a book or play a video game, then why even play it? I get playing for fun and that's totally okay, but how much longevity does fun give you? Do emotions or a fun time last longer in life? Realistically, it's emotions. You hang on to those forever. And COD Zombies is something that had a beautiful, beautiful storyline. If you look back at BO3 and 2 and even 1, you get nostalgia for the characters and the soundtrack and the map locations and what they mean to the storyline. Where are our characters going next? Who's gonna die? What are we really doing? What's the real deal here? What what what's going on? You know, in BO3, we went, we went on this emotional roller coaster with the Primus crew. We experienced death and loss and pain and agony and we just watched them grow to be great friends and to be really have an emotional bondage. But in Black Ops Cold War Zombies, we have 12 different boring ass stale fucking operators and a Knock Their Own Tone remaster. Now I'm not knocking Cold War Zombies, I think it's great, I think it's fun. This is easily the best zombies engine if you want to call it mechanics, whatever. This is the best feeling zombies game we've probably ever had. But it is missing something huge and that is a good storyline. And I know people were saying, you know, I just want to have fun this year, I just want to have fun with the year. Well. I had fun for, you know, maybe a month, but now I'm fucking bored, and there's no story to advance to. I don't care where we go next. If we go to Vietnam and it's 12 operators, that's going to be fun, and it's going to be cool for a little bit, but it's going to get boring. There's no story to keep me invested. I can't make theories about anything. I can't go in depth with the storyline. There's no emotional attachment. Why should I care about where we go next? Why should I care about what our characters are up to next if it really means nothing? And I think it's great that the Dark Aether is leaking into our universe in this Cold War Zombie storyline. But if we don't see Victus jump through a portal, or we don't see Eddie all grown up, or we don't see Samantha again, and they just did that to get people to buy the game for, you know, just attractions and, I guess, propaganda, whatever, then I can't see Cold War Zombies being a good game at all. You know, Black Ops 4 lacked in the department of it was just poorly built, and the perk system sucked, and the game just felt weird, but at least it had story, it had passion. Blood of the Dead had me almost in tears. The end of the storyline made me feel so empty, it emotionally impacted me. Same with Revelations. When I woke up and that Revelations cutscene was out, I felt something. I almost fucking cried. That shit changed my life. And I know I sound like a nerd right now, but that shit really hit me. Seeing how the premise journey ends, and then seeing how it ends again in Togged or Toad, and then they're all dead. Like, are you kidding me? This shit is truly heartbreaking. But now there's nothing to be invested in. It's just fucking, they've combined the zombies and multiplayer campaign universe. And that's just boring. I don't give a fuck about Adler. I don't care about Weaver. I care about the premise crew, the ultimate. Crew. I want to know what Monty's up to because they're all sent to the Dark Aether, not Primus and Ultimus, they're dead, but Sam, Eddie, the Victus crew, the Apothecans, Monty, there's a story to be told with this Aether storyline and I'll never understand the view of saying, you know what, just drop Aether, we've had enough. You know, because this is what happens when you drop the Aether storyline. You get these boring characters that I just can't care about. Even Chaos had me a little invested. That ending to Ancient Evil was fucking beautiful and they showed emotion because she missed her dad like Scarlet did and shit. But I'll just never understand, you know, the arc or, or seeing where zombies doesn't need a storyline. I'm glad it's fun, and I do think they they did a very good thing by focusing on the gameplay and the in-game mechanics, and I think the mini-map's great, and I think telling you where the power switch is is great. I think a lot of things about Cold War are amazing. All I'm saying is it's missing a storyline, and it's going to need that for me to be intrigued and be able to make videos all year. Because, you know, I can make my launch week videos. I can cover tutorials, glitches, all that fun stuff, ranking, but I can't really get into the storyline and the lore and those are the videos I love to make I love defending maps I love getting into the story I love cutscenes and when the ending cutscene is almost the same exact thing as a fucking exfil that is a problem dude and it's totally okay if Die Machine just is, is not supposed to be story you know intentive and it's supposed to be a casual map to get people to play the game that's awesome but I think in the next map we need to see a crazy intro cutscene where we see a Victus return or something like that and we play with the set crew I don't know how possible it is it's probably not possible 
possible at all. But I don't think this game is going to survive all year without a solid storyline. That's just how I feel. That's a player I am. I am emotional about things I'm invested in when it comes to storytelling and games and stuff. So this game is a little bit hard for me to get into, but that's not to say I hate it, because honestly, I love grinding camos and having a good time on it. But there's nothing that draws me back. This Easter egg really, really sucks, and the story is just weird, man. There's nothing intriguing about it. It's the ghost from Blood of the Dead again, pretty much. And you use megatons and the Wonder Weapon. There's no, in there's nothing interesting about the Easter egg. There's no boss fight that's intriguing. The boss fight fucking sucked. And I'm not shitting on you, Treyarch, at all. I fucking love you. I'm just trying to give some constructive criticism about something I feel very heavily for and something that I'm very passionate about, which is Call of Duty Zombies. And that's pretty much all I have to say is that there's a glaring issue with Cold War Zombies, and it's the lack of storytelling. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, like, drop a comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server, just to swarm me in general, going for that Obey on RC. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Have a great one.